Today I'd like to answer the question that nobody ever asked, which is, what would happen if you take uh, the heaviest gauge of strings that you can get uh, and put it on a regular guitar and tune it to standard tuning? So what I have in here is a set of baritone 14 to 68 strings and the guitar is tuned to E, standard E. Uh, the third string is wound, so uh, what you may expect is that there probably won't be too much uh, bending going on, which means um, you can try to bend it, but there won't be uh, too much of a reaction from the string. And when it comes to everything else, well, it requires some preparation to play whatever you want on this kind of setup. But at the same time, it's not that hard as you probably would expect. You, know, you have plenty of information out there on guitar forums that, uh, well, it will break your guitar, that it's gonna be impossible to play, and oh, don't try it because it's, uh, there is no point. Well, the thing is that uh, by the end of the day, there's actually no point in doing so i uh, did this thing as a certain exercise and experiment and uh, i even played a couple of gigs already with this particular guitar and uh, these were jazz and blues gigs so i was expected to deliver some of pretty much standard playing and i had to adapt to certain things but uh, let's have a look what we can and what we can't do with this kind of, uh, you know, extremely heavy setup. Uh, first of all, the first two strings will bend just fine. Third string, well, what you can expect is basically a half step, one fret of range while bending. It also depends where uh, on the neck you're trying to bend. So the closer it is to the halfway point of the string, which is 12th fret, the easier it's gonna be. Uh, and at the same time, everything else, chords, well, chords are a little bit challenging because there is more tension on the strings. Well, how much more? Uh, I did some calculations and uh, I also confronted it with uh, standard tension table that is published on Dadario's website and it turns out that this kind of 14 to 68 set um, is almost exactly twice as much in terms of tension on the neck compared to standard set of 10 to 46. Uh, and when you think about the gauges, well, uh, D-string is I guess almost the same thickness as a standard E on the set of tens. So, you know, comparing the feel of the strings, it feels like you'd have a eight string guitar with no first two strings, and of course it's tuned way higher. Um, in terms of tonality, well, to get a decent tone, you have to strum it really hard. And uh, I'd say the tone is a little bit darker, more solid um, in terms that um, on my bridge pickup I can get a quite a quite nice, not too bright uh, kind of pedal steel sound.
And uh, well, what about just uh, regular chords or regular strumming? Well, it sounds like any other guitar. <laughs> So in terms of uh, setup and action, uh, for this particular guitar, uh, it's uh, over two and a half millimeters on both sides above 12th fret. So I'd say it's a moderately high action. It requires some, some work uh, to, to you know, press down and get a clean tone uh, with no buzzing. But at the same time, uh, after about uh, a week or so that I've been playing it like every day uh, probably the best outcome out of it is uh, that whenever I switch to any other guitar that I have uh, at the moment I play uh, I can approach my playing with a very very light touch I don't have to work at all on getting my notes where they are and at the same time not to hurt myself while playing this monstrosity uh, I have to pay attention to how I work with my fretting hand because it's really easy to hurt yourself to overestimate amount of force and pressure that you have to put on the fretboard. Uh, so uh, with, uh, with this particular setup, I think that as a practice guitar, as an uh, interesting experiment, uh, well, it was definitely worth it. I'll probably use this guitar with this setup as long as the strings are useful for anything. I'll probably tune it down and just see how low I can get and get a steady peak pitch. Um, when I think about uh, any challenges while putting those strings on, well, of course I had to file down the nut uh, so the strings don't uh, lay over the grooves. So um, I just use a regular diamond files to make the grooves a little bit deeper. Um, it also affects the action, of course, so it's more even over the uh, frets. And um, when it comes to any struggles with tensioning the strings up to the pitch, uh, probably the most um, important thing was to uh, tune especially unwound strings, quite slowly because uh, I didn't want to put too much of a stress right away. I just, uh, well, it wasn't like, like I tried to every, you know, quarter uh, of a semitone and let it sit. It was just a little bit slower than I would do with, with probably a set of 11s or 12s. Uh, so yeah, that's what happens when you put 14 to 68 kit of strings. Uh, of a guitar and uh, tune it to standard tuning. Well, literally nothing happens. You'll just have to work a little bit harder and probably you could use it as a sort of creative limitation because uh, having uh, suddenly most of your technique out the window, you have to think ahead of certain things. So uh, in terms of articulation, when there is no more uh, bending wrench on the third string, most of the blues licks will, will sound a little bit different. You have to replace certain notes to uh, next string, to the unwound string, to make it work. Or at the same time, uh, you could probably try your regular playing habits and see how they're affected by this kind of very, very severely limited, um, limited setup. So, uh, sometimes it sounds quite interesting to have certain notes a little bit flatter. It's, it gives this sort of, you know, authentic blues sound. So, uh, if you wish, 
try it at home. Is it worth it? Uh, not necessarily. Uh, it don't probably do it on your main guitar. It wouldn't make too much sense. It would be just a waste of money. But if you have a some kind of banger lying around, you know, this is like a 40 quid Gumtree Squire Affinity Strat, they actually use it a lot. I mean, it's a, it's a good guitar, there's nothing wrong with it. But at the same time, because it was cheap, I'm not afraid to do some kind of modifications and experiments on it. So, um, probably some other upgrades and some more abuse with this strat. Uh, and, well, I guess that's all for today. Stay tuned, probably there are going to be some more guitar related videos and more on guitar techniques this time and uh, how to probably get a little bit better as a musician, as a guitar player in general, not just uh, instructional videos on to how to play certain tunes because, well, I found that it's probably not really the point of developing your skills as a musician. It's probably way better and would be just more useful on my part to give you the best possible tools and uh, just uh, share what I find as an important skill and something that will move uh, your playing forward. So, uh, yeah, see you next time.